So I was going to start this roundup of our latest Climate Now live event with a relatively optimistic tone. But then I listened back to what everybody had to say. The light that we see at the end of the tunnel is a train that is coming to drive all over us. We are seeing full screen uh, climate change now. My message would be to listen to science and uh, please put the brakes and stop the train. OK, well, let's try and do just that with our panellists, IPCC co-chair Valerie Masson-Delmotte, Robert Vota, an IPCC author who's an expert in extreme events, Samantha Burgess, the deputy director of the Copernicus Climate Change Service, and Kostas Bakoyanis, the mayor of Athens. So first, listen to this from Samantha, who has a very clear explanation for some of the extreme weather we've seen this year. We know with climate change that the atmosphere is warmer and wetter than it otherwise would have been. So that's clear. And as long as human induced emissions continue, our, our atmosphere will be warmer and therefore we'll be able to hold more moisture. And this leads to extreme events where the, the rainfall is more intense. So we know that trend is happening. Everywhere around the world, uh, we are increasingly living with the consequences of human-induced climate change. Can we confidently say that what happened in Germany was a climate change thing? It was a combination of uh, natural variability and a, a push from climate change. That push from climate change he's talking about can sometimes feel a lot more like a shove. What we are witnessing actually is new records beaten by far. Uh, for British Columbia, it was by five degrees. Usually records are beaten by one degree or two degrees maybe, or half a degree. The more warming we have, the more we add uncertainty in fact. Uh, for instance, we know that the land, the ocean, they take up around 56% of our emissions today. And we know that their relative efficacy um, is reduced with further warming. Um, it, it's hard to reduce that, to narrow that uncertainty. So amid all of this uncertainty, is there any hope? Well, as we head towards the Glasgow COP26 summit, the mayor of Athens thinks there probably is. I think that we should actually feel quite optimistic about uh, the years to come. I mean, clearly there has been uh, a mentality shift uh, in the minds of decision makers. And clearly, I think it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that we're actually living through a paradigm shift at the same time. You really think so? You really think it's that big? I'm at least uh, talking about Europe. Much will depend, of course, on who will actually come to Glasgow in the first place. Um, I hope that uh, big countries, including China, uh, will be represented at the highest level. Uh, it's very, very important that this that's, that's understood, that this is not just a, you know, a rich world problem. And there is some positivity from the scientists too. We're almost in a fortunate position at the moment in that we have the latest scientific assessment available. We have a political process that is coinciding with that. So we have the ability to see ambitious action. In our report, we show if we reduce emissions at the global scale of, of major greenhouse gases, we would see in a few years effects in terms of atmospheric composition of air quality, but it would take around 20 years to see the effects in terms of uh, slowing down the rate of global warming. So if you want to watch that fascinating discussion in full, click on the link and head over to euronews.com slash climate now, where we bring you all the news on what's really happening to our planet with the facts from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. And I'll see you soon.